Hello everyone. In today's discussion, I will introduce to all of you regarding a terminology called as burning mouth syndrome. Now this burning mouth syndrome, we will be talking about uh, what is it exactly, what are the types of burning mouth syndrome, the various causes and treatment options for burning mouth syndrome. Now burning mouth syndrome is actually a medical terminology which is used for ongoing recurrent burning in the mouth without any obvious cause. That is something very important. That there is no obvious cause for it and this discomfort may affect tongue, your gums, your lips, inside of your cheeks and your roof of your palate which is your uh, roof of your mouth which is called as a palate and widespread areas of all over your mouth. Burning mouth syndrome usually appears suddenly but it can develop over time. Unfortunately, there is no specific cause which is determined with burning mouth syndrome. Now you have got two types of burning mouth syndrome in fact. Now one is called as the primary burning mouth syndrome which is nothing but an idiopathic wherein there is no clinical or lab abnormalities or laboratory abnormalities that can be identified with it. Some research suggests that primary burning mouth syndrome is related to the problems with the taste and sensory nerves of your central nervous system or regarding some nervous involvement of your brain. Sometimes the burning mouth syndrome has got an underlying medical reason. That is why it is called as a secondary burning mouth syndrome. A secondary burning mouth syndrome could be a dry mouth, which is called as erostomia medically, or other conditions which are uh, maybe you can include a fungal infection of your mouth, which is oral thrush or oral candidiasis, an inflammatory or an autoimmune condition of your mouth, which is called as oral lichen planus, or uh, there is something called as a geographic tongue, where your tongue appears uh, like a map. You, you see a lot of uh, discoloration on your tongue, which appears like a map. This is called as a geographic tongue. Sometimes nutritional deficiencies, especially B12 deficiency, vitamin B12, folic acid, iron deficiencies allergies or reactions to food or there is something called as GERD which is called as gastroesophageal reflux disease where you get a reflux of the stomach acid into your mouth into your oral cavity because of which you may get burning mouth syndrome certain medications especially antipsychotics and antihypertensives endocrine disorders especially diabetes and hypothyroidism excessive mouth irritation which can be because of more amount of carbonated drinks or excessive use of uh, uh, over the contour mouthwashes or maybe uh, you can use an over abrasive toothpaste or psychological factors like anxiety stress or depression these are all the precipitating factors which are linked to secondary burning mouth syndrome now this is something very important that what are the signs of burning mouth syndrome burning mouth syndrome usually doesn't cause any noticeable findings into your mouth so when we observe there is nothing in your mouth which is seen physically onto your tongue or cheek or gums with which you can conclude that you have got some problem into your mouth but then you have a lot of complaints which are symptoms the complaint can be a burning or a scalding sensation which can affect all over your mouth from tongue to all the other parts of your cavity a sensation of dry mouth with increased thirst which is erostomia Taste changes in your mouth, which could be bitter or metallic taste, or sometimes we will see loss of taste, tingling, stinging or numbness in your mouth and your perioral structure, that means all around your mouth and your lip area can also be one of the symptoms of burning mouth syndrome. The discomfort from this PMS typically can be of various patterns. It could be a little discomfort when you wake up and then increases the whole day. That means it becomes worse as, as the day progresses. Starts as soon as you wake up and up. And, and then last for the whole day and the night it suppresses down or it is intermittent. It comes and goes by itself. Whatever pattern of this discomfort you have, burning mouth syndrome may last for a few months or years and rarely symptoms may suddenly go away on their own and sometimes they are less big. Some sensations may temporarily relieve during eating or drinking also. So we don't know, it's all idiopathic. There is no cause and there is no specific symptom but then you may have one among the above I mentioned. The burning mouth syndrome risk factors, it may be very, very risky for people, especially women, females, or uh, premenopausal or postmenopausal female or woman, and over the age of 50 plus. 
it begins spontaneously with no known triggering factor this especially happens in females of 50 years of age and over the above 50 years with premenopausal or postmenopausal symptoms or age or the finding however certain factors may increase the risk of developing pms like recent illness some medical disorders you can say as parkinson disease autoimmune neuropathy previous dental procedures some allergic reactions to food medications traumatic life events anxiety stress depression can all lead to or exacerbate the risk of getting pms now where do we have to see a doctor if your discomfort burning sensation soreness of your tongue lips or other areas of your mouth then you have to refer to a dentist or a doctor or a physician they may need to work together to help to pinpoint the cause like what exactly the cause to be what is the underlying reason for it whether it is a primary or a secondary pms and will develop an effective treatment there is no known way to prevent pms as such in terms of prevention but avoiding tobacco smoking acidic foods spicy foods carbonated beverages excessive stress may be able to reduce the discomfort from pms so prevent your discomfort from feeling worse getting worse which will again increase your anxiety and change of your uh, hormonal levels and become more worse pms now when we talk about the treatment options for pms in terms of secondary pms there's definitely one reason underlying it so we are going to diagnose the reason for it for example you have a reason for whatever so vitamin deficiency is a reason you go for vitamin supplement if you have oral candidiasis as a reason you go for antifungal so there's a reason for it and you have to take this reason or the cause for it to make it more better in terms of primary bms as i said there is no cause it's idiopathic unknown reason unknown etiology you may have to go for symptomatic relief which is called as a palliative management that means you only reduce the symptom because you don't know the cause of the problem you can go for saliva replacement products there is something called as salivary substitutes in my uh, details of my presentation i will be discussing or i will be sharing the link of uh, a few salivary replacement products in the description of the video if you have to look into it for the links for the uh, various salivary substitutes you have various solid salivary mouthwashes which are replaced which is also used for xerostomia specific oral rinses and especially uh, lignocaine rinses lignocaine is a local anesthetic agent it makes your mouth little numb so that you can have a good food when you have so much of uh, irritation and burning it is very difficult for you to even chew your food then you have capsaicin is a pain reliever that comes from chili pepper it is also used prepared the form of point you have certain antidepressants anxiolytics which has to be prescribed to you medications that can block the nerve pain or the last is the cognitive behavioral therapy to reduce or develop your uh, strategies to actually address anxiety and depression and cope with the chronic pain now uh, last but not the least the most important discussion is on pms and menopause as i have said before it affects the premenopausal or menopausal menopausal women and according to a lot of studies and literature it's 18 to 33% of postmenopausal women who have got pms it is basically because of the hormonal imbalance which happens post menopause it's because of the drop in the estrogen levels in the circulation of the woman this decrease in the hormone or the dip in the hormone will lead to the salivary production which will be compromised which will reduce causing metallic taste in the mouth dryness in your mouth triggers a burning sensation and which will also make the menopausal woman experience a greater sensitivity to pain that means the threshold for pain to drop down sensitivity of the pain increase and then the exaggerated burning sensation because of the drop of the estrogen hormone so when there is a link between bms and drop of estrogen hormones there is definitely something called as hormone replacement therapy which is hrt which is advised for the females that's also one of the important treatment which is being advised to most of the female and in terms of that Thank you so much.